sudden, Santa appeared. A sneer on his face, and booze in his beard. <laughs> Santa, I said as he laughed merrily, you do so much for others, do something for me. Bundy, he said, you only sell shoes. Your son is a sneak thief. Your daughter's a flues. <laughs> ho, ho, Santa said, should I mention your wife? Her hair's like an A-bomb, her nail's like a knife. <laughs> and he climbs up the chimney, that fat piece of dung. <laughs> he mooned me two times, he stuck out his tongue. <laughs> and I heard him exclaim as he broke wind with glee. <laughs> You're married with children. You'll never be free. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Hi, everybody! Yay, Santa! Thank you, thank you. I'm fine. I landed on my belly. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, each and every one. And remember, I know when you've been sleeping. I know when you're awake. You, Joey, I know it was you lit that bag of duty and put it on the Bundy porch. <laughs> so you're out of luck this Christmas. <laughs> but the rest of you will get plenty. And remember, Santa's not at the Lakeside Mall. Santa hates the Lakeside Mall. <laughs> so go on home now and torture your parents. <laughs> but what did you bring us? Uh, not... <laughs> Nothing yet. Uh, that's why I gotta get back to the North Pole with the uh, Dancer and Prancer and uh, uh, Donald and Goofy. But we haven't told you what we want. Santa knows. Then what do I want? Mm. I don't know. What do you want? I want to sit on your lap. Uh, all right, but make it fast. Santa has hemorrhoids. <laughs> uh, what do you want? I came to old man Bundy's house. Oh, well, I came to bring him special presents because he sells women's shoes and is cursed with a foul wife and has <laughs> ungrateful kids, but still he goes on. But he's a butthead. <laughs> no, he's not. He's the nicest man on the block. Boy, you must be Santa. I told you I was. What do you want? I want a real live horse. Hmm. Your mom's the one who makes pies for everyone in the neighborhood but those nice Bundys, isn't she? All right. Well, Santa will leave you a horse tonight under your tree. But if it's not there in the morning, it's because your mommy chased it away and killed it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> ah, don't jump on Santa's lap too hard, little girl. Mrs. Claus won't like that. No, no, Nestor. Despite what your mom says, Mr. Bundy doesn't really sprout a tail at midnight. <laughs> but here's a special Christmas gift for Daddy. Tell him to come home for lunch someday around when Mr. Mailman's there with a special delivery for Mommy. That'll be a real Yuletide treat for old Dad. <laughs> what do I get? A new home and a fresh new Mommy. Oh, 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 oh. Well, old Santa's got to hit the road, but I'm going to go in and say goodbye to my favorite family, the Bundys. And be nice to them, or you won't get any Christmas gifts next year. <laughs> Santa smells like beer. Eh, hey, catch me in five minutes, I'll smell like hard liquor. Ho, ho, ho! On Dundee, on Dumbo! Hi, yo, silver away! Yeah, <laughs> well, they're gone. All dead guys and non-relatives out. So long, Kel. Yeah, like they really intended to have you. Now, kids, we wanted both of you. It was your father I didn't plan on. I'm feeling a little better now. Oh, no. He was better off dead. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, great. It's probably an elf with a knife in his back. Hi. Uh, is this the house where the uh, Yuletide incident occurred? What's it to you? Well, I'm from the Lakeside Mall, and I, I just wanted to offer our apologies for any inconvenience this may have caused. Hey, no problem, no inconvenience. You just took all my business, cost me my bonus, made my family hate me. That's right. And on top of all that, 
You slam dunk Santa into my backyard and almost ruined Christmas for every kid in the neighborhood. Almost. Well, you see, my husband dressed up as Santa so the kids would know he was okay. By the way, love your mall. We've got it all. <laughs> so uh, no one around here knows what really happened, huh? Nope. Thanks to me. Hey, that ought to be worth something, huh? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I mean, if the kids think Santa's okay, Santa's okay. So why should I bribe you to say something you've already said? <laughs> be stupid. Kind of like paying that dead guy for disappointing a whole parking lot full of kids. <laughs> well, I'm saving money right and left here. <laughs> it's the best Christmas I've ever had. Well, that about wraps it up here. Roll them out, boys. You know, Bundy, you're a decent guy, so here's a little tip from me to you. Don't die with your jewelry on, huh? <laughs> I just know you're there, Bundy. Just like when you're having sex. <laughs> Wait a second. She's cooking. <laughs> she told me she was allergic to fire. <laughs> Gee, that's weird. I guess after I died, women started lying, huh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, if they ever start using sex to get what they want, I'm out of here. <laughs> Yes, I know. Regrettable, but necessary. I had to stop on the way home to soundly thrash a bully who was making lewd and suggestive comments to some female school chums. <laughs> oh, mother, when will men realize that the delicate flower of womanhood must be allowed to bloom in freedom? <laughs> You're such a fine young man. I knew it would pay to breastfeed you till you were nine. <laughs> Oh, no. I could never take money from you. You and father have given me the greatest gift of all, the gift of life. Would he feel it if I kicked him? <laughs> no, but for a little extra cash, I could give him your dog's face. Would you take an IOU? Not from him. Hello, oh. Mama. <laughs> I'm home from college. <laughs> college? She flunked lunch in high school. Good news. They're publishing my poetry in French. Oh, oh Budrick. <laughs> you look fabulous. You really must be popular with the ladies. Well, I've broken a few hearts, but gained some good friends. <laughs> and you, dear sister, are you still frigid? <laughs> Yes, but pleasures of the flesh muddy the thinking. She's right, you know. I saved myself for marriage. Oh, come on! <laughs> the football team retired her jersey. <laughs> I mean, what kind of guy would marry her if she wasn't putting out? <laughs> Saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. It's Daddy! <laughs> Family! Daddy! Dear heart. <laughs> <laughs> there they go again. <laughs> you know those wings you've been wanting? Yeah. You think you could make a pair out of this guy's kidneys? <laughs> hey, don't worry about him, buddy. I checked into his future. By the time he's 60, his stomach is so ulcerated that. Oh, well, that's you. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. So, how was your day, honey? Oh, wonderful. As every day since we met. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one who can taste the bile? <laughs> oh, by the way, dear, I didn't have a chance to finish the Christmas cookies. I had a run-in with a shoe salesman today. There she goes. She's leaving them. No one can resist a shoe salesman. 
I was only trying on shoes for a couple of hours, and he barked at me. He was a rude, smelly, uneducated little man. Imagine a grown man selling shoes for a living. <laughs> but let us remember the old adage, I lamented I had no shoes until I saw the man who sold them. <laughs> well, I'll bet you're all wondering where your presents are. Oh, Father, you needn't get us anything. What? <laughs> Your love and guidance all these years means more to us than any store-bought bauble. Oh, I, I just love you guys so much. Oh. <laughs> well, gee, this was fun. Peg. Seven. Kelly. <laughs> oh, no, Buck boy. I forgot all about you. Eh, but you're just a dumb little dog. You probably don't even know it's Christmas. Oh, that's okay. I have a little something for you. It's called P, and it'll be waiting in your slippers. <laughs> yes, sirree boy! It's gonna be one fine Christmas! <laughs> I told you I smell daddy. <laughs> presents, you guys, we got presents! Presents! Got presents! presents! Look, 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 it's me, Kelly! Oh, <laughs> me! Oh. oh, Al, you got me the watch I always wanted. Daddy, a CD player. And my first CD, Herman's Hermits. <laughs> I'm Henry the V-I-I-I-1-M. <laughs> Uh, Kel, that's, I'm Henry VIII, I am. Now, how could you possibly get that from that bunch of letters? <laughs> oh, Dad, huh? build your own Hooters kit. <laughs> With the lifelike plastic. <laughs> build them, look at them, feel them, trade them with your friends, or put them on and just scare your mother. <laughs> Did I need these? Look, Mom, Hooters, Hooters. Yes, they're very cute, dear. Here. All right. Now, who's the best daddy in the world? Oh, daddy. daddy. <laughs> then it was all worth it. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. Wake up, buddy. Mm -hmm. It's closing time. Oh. Oh, I was dreaming. I gave my son breasts. <laughs> That's a very cool dream, sir. Uh, well, uh, uh huh. How much I owe you? Nothing. You already paid for everybody. <laughs> you were unconscious, but I felt you wanted to pay. You being Santa and all. <laughs> 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 and now, uh, Ray, can we talk? Where's Daddy with our presents? Look out! No breaks! No breaks! <laughs> Yay! You know, he hit pretty hard. I hope nothing happened to our presents. Ho, 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 ho! Ho, 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 ho! Here's Santa with your presents. Let's see now, what do we got here? Bud, son, this is for you. Wow. Raise bar. You just take it and go away. <laughs> Let's see, seven. Here, your very first beer steins. Wow, much cooler than a bike. All right. <laughs> now, pumpkin, what do we have in here for you? Here you are, sweetie pie. Oh. Now. There you go. Now, uh, sweetheart, you never have to learn how to read. Wow. Even comes with its own wall. Cool. <laughs> Best of all, it's a raise. 
Oh, no, fuck boy, I forgot about you. But you're just a dumb dog. You probably don't even know it's Christmas. And you don't know about the dead bird I left in your jacket. Oh. <laughs> Peg, try as I might, I couldn't forget about you. <laughs> oh, Al! I can't believe it! <laughs> honey, it says Ray. Well, sure, honey, that's because you're my little, uh, Ray of sunshine. <laughs> oh, Al. Oh, oh, Ray. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna retie your knot. Now don't lift it until I say so. Don't what? Lift it. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly! Kelly, let me down, you moron! Let me down! Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> are you down? <laughs> yes. And so are you. Dresser. <laughs> and now, the Black Entertainment Channel presents It's a Malcolm Xmas. Oh, come on! <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. Give me the remote. Al, you're going too fast again. Oh, this just isn't working. I go too slow, you go too fast. <laughs> Gee, what does that remind you of? <laughs> Let's just try this together, shall we? Oh, now you're taking up more than half the remote. No, you're taking up more than half the couch! <laughs> For those of you who missed the first 53 airings, NBC is proud to present Cheers, the final episode. <laughs> what does Cheers have to do with Christmas? What does NBC have to do with television? <laughs> Change it. No, not Sally Struthers feeds the Third World Channel. Sally, open your purse up. I'm sure there's enough ding-dongs and ho-hos in there to start a new 7-Eleven. That's all these starving kids need. Someone like Sally stand there saying, are you gonna finish that? <laughs> Change it. Oh, this is the TV movie version of It's a Wonderful Life. It's from a female perspective, starring Suzanne Plachette. Who plays the female? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Okay, Al. Guess who's under the mistletoe? <laughs> Hey, now I know you're having a party over there. I am too. <laughs> Do you have any contraceptives? Okay. Well, uh, I got a magazine with Whoopi Goldberg on the cover. That'll do. And to all a good night. <laughs> I am almost positive that they're having a party over there. Now on Home Shopping Channel, we're offering this gold-plated necklace. We've been offering it at $49, but for the next 10 minutes, you can buy it for 49 cents. Look what they put on TV. Look how hideous this stuff is. Do they actually think that women will go for this? Uh, yes, I'd like three, please. Yes. Oh, yes. I would love a Brazilian Christmas tree emerald ring. How dare you try to sell this crap to women who might actually wear it? <laughs> uh, hey, guys, you guys still got that pocket fisherman? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Who was that? 
Kelly. A and E, the arts and entertainment channel presents. It's a Hitler Christmas. <laughs> it's an entertainment channel. I thought we had that blocked. There's just a few stations left. Let's keep going. Now available on CD, cassette, and yes, eight track. It's a country Christmas. Here's such hits as Let's Put the Lights on the Trailer. Let's put the lights on the trailer. Is that Rudolph's nose or Daddy's? <laughs> Is that Rudolph's nose or dad? <laughs> Grandma's frozen on the porch swing. <laughs> Grandma's frozen on the porch swing. This is fantastic. I mean, I can't believe Grandma bought us all these presents and this beautiful dinner. Uh, it's like she's an older married man or something. <laughs> you know, Peg, who would have thought that your mom's 1-900 number would have bought us our first real Christmas? <laughs> you know, for a Bigfoot, your mom's OK. <laughs> Invite her down for Christmas dinner. What are you nuts? <laughs> Don't you know that the holidays are the busiest phone sex time of all? Daddy, aren't you feeling just a little guilty that most of the money that paid for this food came from your no man friends? <laughs> guilty, no. Hungry, yes. Oh. <laughs> what I mean is that don't you think you should tell them that butter is really grandma? Pumpkin. Unlike marriage, phone sex is victimless crime. <laughs> so why spoil the good time of my dear friends and derail our gravy train at the same time? <laughs> Speaking of which, Peg, would you pop open another can of gravy, please? <laughs> I had to go. Dad's right. What they don't know won't hurt them. Besides, when you dial those 900 numbers, all you really care about is... He's <laughs> getting your money back for dialing a wrong number. Who could that be? Ah, oh, maybe one of the neighbors found out we had food. We eat fast. <laughs> all right, I'll get it. Just pretend like nothing's happened. Oh, <laughs> How you doing? Oh, so you're having another imaginary Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah, well, it keeps them happy, you know. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Now, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need your advice. You know, I've been talking to Butter a lot lately. Al, she is more than just phone sex. She is a beautiful human being. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this again. I think I'm in love. <laughs> I think I'm about to blow gravy. <laughs> now, I want to ask her to spend the holidays with me. <laughs> Family meeting. Al, what are we gonna do? If Griff finds out that Grandma is butter, then he and the guys will stop calling and We'll have to go back to living on your income. <laughs> I hate him. He's the Griff who stole Christmas. I'll kill this sucker first. No, 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 no one kills anybody here. Come here. I got a plan. I want you two to get some candy canes and lure Grandma out of her room. All of her, Dad? <laughs> Even the, the dark, mossy side? <laughs> you just go do it. Hey, I want you to go upstairs and talk dirty. Oh, Al. 
at me like this? Thank you, Peg. The one meal I've had in months, I won't be able to keep it down. You said to talk dirty. <laughs> Not to me, you candied yam. To give. <laughs> I want you to go upstairs. When the phone rings, I want you to answer it. Pretend you're butter. Then I want you to tell him that your love can never be. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften him up with our finest liquid refreshment. <laughs> oh man, that's gravy. <laughs> Not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> now, what if Butter won't go out with me? What will I do? Not call her anymore? Nope. Call her often and call her at peak hours and talk for a long, long time. <laughs> but never ask to meet her. Remember, we don't want them to recognize you. What do you think, I'm an idiot, bud? If you ever want to see Mary and Joseph alive again, drop $500 outside the ooze at 9 o'clock. That's the zoo at 6 o'clock, you moron! That's the zoo at 6 o'clock, you moron! Okay, we'll do it. But how do we know you haven't hurt them? Tell them to put the statues on the phone. Good idea. Put the statues on... Oh. <laughs> We're rich, what? Dad. What? <laughs> this is gonna be the best Christmas ever! Oh, I knew you kids would get the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Mom, I thought you finished our gingerbread house. Well, I did, but I had so much fun that I decided to bake the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Hey, look, there's old man McGinty's house. Oh, he even got the telescope he uses to watch me shower. <laughs> Mom, what are those two marshmallows in your bedroom window? Oh, well, that's Daddy mooning the Darcy's. Bless you. <laughs> you know, I'm tired looking out for the cops. I'm gonna get down to that mall employment office. You wanna come? No, I'm fine. I, I've, got, I've got some money put away. What kind of job are you gonna find on Christmas Eve? I don't know, but whatever kind of job it is, it can't be any more humiliating than this. <laughs> I look like Santa. No, you're fat. Well, you're walking. <laughs> Al, is that you? Man, you make one ugly hobbit. <laughs> I happen to be the elf in here. <laughs> At least I got a job. Well, I got a job. Well, I thought you said you had money put away. Well, I did, but uh, then I got a corn dog and a kitty coke, and there went my nest egg. <laughs> well, what kind of job are you doing? I got an executive position in the overnight delivery business. Hey, Blitzen, get your tail back over to the sled. <laughs> Hi, I'm Prancer. <laughs> No kidding. <laughs> Come on, Blitzen. It's time to get into our harness. <laughs> what kind of reindeer games you playing over there, bro? <laughs> One more crack out of you and I'll kick your curly toed butt. <laughs> oh, now, nah, Griff, don't be bitter just because my job's better than yours. <sighs> Mister, I don't feel so good. Son, son, I'm an elf, not a doctor. This is all your fault. What were you doing sticking the statues out the car window? <laughs> what were you doing driving through a tunnel? I don't know what the big deal is, bud. Oh, you don't know what the big deal is, huh? 
We beheaded Mary and Joseph. <laughs> We're going to jail. We're going to hell. <laughs> Now this is what we're gonna do, see? <laughs> now we're sticking to our story, see? We don't know nothing about no holy family, see? <laughs> we'll, we'll do time. No one's sending me up the river on no nativity rep. <laughs> see? Oh my God. <laughs> now keep your yappers shut. <sighs> we waited for over an hour in the snow and those creeps didn't show. It's just a contest. I'm, you'll still have Christmas. To hell with Christmas! I want to win! <laughs> you see this money? This is the closest those kidnappers are gonna get to it. I'm gonna hunt that scum down if it takes every last cent she has.